Good morning, guys. Welcome to Lady J Love's channel. Pixie and I want to say hi. Good morning, and we love you guys, and welcome. So how is everybody this morning? I hope everybody's good. I got some good news again this morning, as I said. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back, guys. So, good morning. I got... Hold on. Give me a minute. Ah! Everybody has little flaws when they're doing this stuff. So, it's water for me this morning. Um, I'm still cigaretteless and feeling great. I'm <laughs> loving every minute of it. Uh, I want to read this morning. Um, for those that want to hear it, God bless. For those that don't, maybe one day. Okay. Um, did everybody sleep pretty good last night? I did. Um, the coughing from um, the nicotine that's trying to exit my lungs, uh, that has subsided a lot. A lot of that uh, gook gook. I done got up. Oh, my lungs feel so good. I tell you, everybody should. I mean, you know, well, it happens in due time. I just thank God that for my, uh, for him uh, helping me get get through what I need to get through quick. Um, okay. I tried to have this stuff together. You know, I, I really did. You know, I and. Stuff happens. People gotta realize that. Okay? Ain't nobody perfect. Ain't nothing never gonna be perfect. Even my glasses ain't perfect because they ain't clean. I'm not gonna clean them right now. Now I do, I'm just hoping and praying that my camera don't go off again because like I told y'all, my storage is full. I couldn't tell you why. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I can. Oh, if that don't matter at this moment, that's it. All right. What matters is the word. And I'm going to read it to you. Okay. See, I told you, Satan just been, oh. Okay. It's, okay, this is coming from Joshua. Second, second chapter, ninth verse. I think I got the wrong one. Well, okay, we'll go back. Okay, yep, okay, well, we're going to do it anyway. Okay, it's Joshua, chapter 2, 9 through 17. 9 through 17, chapter 2, 9 through 17. Okay, the Lord is God in heaven above, and in earth beneath. The word of God will spread, and with it, so will kindness. See, that's what I'm setting out to do. I'm setting out to spread the word, and hopefully, bring some kindness back into this world. Because it's desperate for it, it's in need for it. People so angry all the time, so mad. The Lord is God in heaven above and in earth beneath. Okay, this is a guy named J David Jacobs. He's uh, telling his story. This is in the prayer. So it says, I was nervously excited about my mission trip to Africa many years ago. I was unable to communicate with many of the people there, so I had to convey God's message through my actions more than more, more than with my words. I believe that education is the most effective way to positively affect anyone. So I share what knowledge I had in various subjects with the villagers where I was where I was stationed including in the Bible. 
Having never heard these subjects, I was surprised to see the, the veracity with which my students devoured my lessons. That means they took it all in. He felt even though he could not, he felt he uh, couldn't express it in a way that they could really understand it, not knowing that they were understanding it. And he didn't even have to express it by mouth, really. It was through his actions. It was through what he showed them. You know, that sometimes you don't have to speak. You don't always have to say something. You know, people see it. That's why I say, I don't have to talk about it. You're going to see it. I don't got to talk about nothing with you. You're going to see it. And so he was saying, okay, see, when I go to talk and I tell you, I get through off again. But anyway, um, they thirsted for education and thirsted for the Lord without even knowing that God exists. It helped it helped me realize my calling. And I pledge to educate myself and others for as long as I live. That's what I that's what I pledge to do. That's what I'm doing. That's the journey I'm on right now. Teaching, learning, first of all, learning more so that I'll be able to teach more. So that I'll be able to give more and do exactly what God wants me to do at all times. And I pledge to educate. Okay, now we're going to skip over that. So, Joshua has sent two spies to, to Jericho, her arrival. They stayed with a prostitute named Rahab. The king of Jericho hears that the spies are living. You know what? I think I just done messed my whole little thing up. You know what? I'm not going to even finish this because y'all see where I'm coming from. Okay? Don't let this be nothing here. This this was just a little flaw here. First of all, I didn't study it like I've been doing before I went to read it. But you got the message of where I'm going with this. Okay? You don't have to you don't have, a lot of times you don't have to speak it. Because sometimes you get tired of speaking it. And you just say, well, they just got to see it, learn it, figure it out on their own. What the bottom line is, is, you know, sometimes we don't have to say a word to get our point across to nobody. And not only that, it's something else I want to talk about. Have, have you ever felt like somebody um, asked you to do something just to see if you are the person that you say you are, that you're a person, a stand-up person, that you're a person of your word. Well, listen, don't test me. Because when you think you're testing me, I'm testing you too. Okay? I'm testing you too. And... You know, I, I don't understand why people do. First of all, who are you to try to test me and see if I am that person that I say that I am? When, in reality, if you think about it, maybe you should be taking a look in the mirror. Are you the person you say you are? Would, would you do... Would you do what you say you're going to do? 
You know, I don't like for nobody to try and play on my intelligence. I'm smart. I'm very smart. But anyway, with that being said, people will test you. You know, um, it's okay though, because I test too. Uh, yes. Good morning. Good morning. Y'all, please look over that my little lesson. Listen, there's gonna be flaws. I, there might be a flaw with any piece that I might be reading, but guess what? When I get to talking and I get to telling you the real stuff, I don't need to fall back on nothing. I just didn't study my stuff. I was running a little bit behind. But anyway, and I was hoping that, that this video didn't cut off today. But please, just don't look over that. Just remember that I got good stuff. I got good stuff in here that, that's got, that needs to come out. That God wants to come out. So... That that's just that's just a tip of the iceberg. Of there is gonna be many more flaws as long as I come. <laughs> there ain't gonna be that many more flaws. But guys, you know what? Um, I I'm just loving you. Uh, keep checking in with me. Please subscribe to me. Okay. Uh, it's a good morning today. I am really, really, again, happy. I haven't had no cigarette. And you know what? <laughs> Don't take no wooden nickels. God bless you. God keeps you. God loves you. And so do I. Welcome to J-Love, baby. Welcome to J-Love's palace. <laughs> Y'all have a good morning. Peace out, baby.